Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm with house mom Denise. I did a video with my other house mom, May, a while back and they actually made their own YouTube channel together. So I'll be leaving the link down in the description if you guys wanna check their channel out. I'm also gonna be doing content with them in the future. So I would definitely subscribe to them so you guys can see those videos. Like I said, it'll all be in the description below. But in today's video, I'm gonna be interviewing Denise, basically asking her questions about the strip club and what we will expect to change after like the coronavirus and everything ends. So if you guys are interested to see how things are gonna change, then keep watching. Okay, now we're gonna get started with the questions. So the first question is, when do you think that the strip club will open back up? Well, each state is going to open up completely different. Our state, uh, we fall in the category of phase five, which means we're gonna be the last ones opening up along with the restaurants and the nightclubs and the lounges. For right now, there our um, stay at home order is to May 30th. So hopefully second week of June, we might, might just be able to get something rolling and on the ball to get something open. What do you think will be the major things that will change? The major things that are gonna change in a strip club are the contact, the contact dances. Um, most strip clubs, everyone knows that when they go to a strip club, they get a lap dance and there's contact. That's gonna have to change until they find a vaccine for this uh, virus that's going around. Okay, so you know how, like, I always say that I'm not on a schedule at work? Right. So, will girls have to be put on a schedule in order to work? Well, that's another thing. When they decide, when the government decides to let us go back to work, and I do know that some states, their strip clubs are already, are already open. I don't know how well they're doing. Really? But, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, really Texas know. opened up a couple weeks ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll get you updated on that for sure. Okay. I'm looking into it. But there are some clubs that are... Uh, working under different laws. So the scheduling, it'll be depending on if the government says we can only have 25 people in the club, that means for the guests. So that's 25 guests. We don't know yet if they are going to include that as em employees or they're going to just want 25 people to 50 people in general in the building alone. So that's going to determine on what the government decides and what guidelines he gives us. So if they do say that there is a limit on the amount of girls that are, are allowed to work at the club, like say they only say, okay, oh, you can only have 10 dancers a night, right. how will you decide which dancers can work and which ones can't? Because I'm sure a lot of girls are going to want to go back to work as soon as the club opens up. Yeah, and we did think about that. And that's something that we're going to probably have to sit down and talk about in phases and how we're going to get them when they do come back to work. Um, they'll probably have to give us a schedule and then we can work around it. Even though they're independent contractors, I'm sure they can come in and out whenever they want. But just because of the pandemic situation, I think that we are just gonna have to wait and see to what they allow us to do. And then we will have a better idea on how we're going to schedule the girls. Or we can just let them come in mm -hmm. as they come in and go in, please keep them six feet apart while in the back, while the management holds I didn't even think about that. When mm -hmm. we're in the dressing room, are we going to... Because some of our lockers are right next to each other. Right. Are we going to have to spread out our lockers? Or like, can girls not get ready right next to each other? Or Right. I'm going to have to implement the same rules. Maybe they're going to take house. out. Because there's so many chairs. Like when yep. I... Like next to each other, maybe like only three chairs. I'm just pretty much sure we're going to have to still follow the same six feet apart. So do you think the that beginning. They're, they are going to put a limitation on the amount of girls that you're allowed to have work? Or you still don't know? still don't know because that's not something they're going to let us know yet until we're near our phase. We're on phase two where they're letting like little things open up mm -hmm. here and there. We don't fall to the end, which means that's when we kind of like open. And it's really important for the strip clubs, you know, at the end to open all together is because that's where the entertainment is at. Yeah. The girls, you know, make their money that way. And the guys and a lot of people, men and women, they go to the strip clubs all the time. So will we have to wear masks? Because I know a lot of like stores and stuff, in order to get in, you have to wear a mask. So are the dancers going to have to wear a mask? Are the customers going to have to wear a mask? Yep. As soon as we do open, I'm sure we're going to have to have everyone, you know, with a mask. That's something that I'm pretty much sure the club is going to sit down with us and we'll be able to maybe provide that for you girls when you do work there. 
but it's going to be very necessary. Do we know if we're going to do any stage work? That we don't know. We can only see there's never been a pandemic in the years of the strip club that I've been in. Uh, the last pandemic was 1918. An original strip club didn't open up to 1920 after the pandemic. So this is the first time that a strip club or all strip clubs has ever, ever, ever experienced anything like this. So this is like starting a brand new from the top strip club because you have to build it all over again. When we do open, we're not going to be able just to open and let 100 people in right away. It's going to be a process, but patience is going to be needed. And eventually as the months go by and the time goes by and we follow all the guidelines and do everything that is needed to be done so that we can get this out of the way, then we will be safe to work contact to contact. Well, I hope we do have to wear masks because my nose is crooked, no. so. <laughs> Wait, so are we going to just, are you going to have masks like to match the dresses like with rhinestones, like sexy masks yeah. or like medical masks? Or yeah. like we're going to have some medical masks. Of course, because, you know, the, the guests are going to need them. So I don't know exactly how the club is going to provide that, but we will have that. Me, I would probably get masks with rhinestones and have different designs and different patterns oh, coming in for you cute. girls. So if you girls are wearing a red dress, I'll get you a beautiful red mask with some rhinestones on it. Okay, I think I really like this. Mm -hmm. I can cover my nose. <laughs> okay. Um, how many customers do you think that will be let in at a time? I think that the most they'll let us, because we're such a big club, I would say when we do decide to open passively, but surely, 25. 25 guests? Guests. And that's probably 25 to 30, and that's like pushing the number. Wow. That's pushing the number because we don't know yet exactly how the government wants yeah. us to run that business yet. He's going to let us open it, but it's going to be... A while before we're able to get the 500 people we get to the door like on yeah. a usual Thursday night so you're saying girls are not gonna do stage I don't think girls are gonna be able to do stage at the beginning I think what, what might happen is with the 25 guests that are there and then that's what they allow the girls might be able to do six feet apart air dancing that might be one way with the mask I don't know about the whole contact to contact yet because we yet don't know how far this virus is yeah. yet so we do want you to make money, but safety is paramount. So we absolutely have to make sure that the guests are protected and of course that my girls are protected. Yeah, and the reason for us not doing stage is not because we're too close to the guests. It's because if every girl's touching the pole yeah. after and then- That means you have to go clean it up every, you know, every second set or every set. We have to go in and clean that up, you know, and then wait for it to dry. So yeah, I don't know, that might be a problem or we might just use one basic small stage instead of using all three stages. We just might use one. And it's just for show and tell and then just the dances. I think yeah. that we're gonna probably focus on trying to make sure that you girls make some money. Yeah. Okay, I think we kind of touched on this, but yeah. what steps will be taken to protect the girls and the customers? We're gonna have sanitizer. We're gonna have, uh, you know, Lysol, you know, all, you know, all the things that we need to stay safe. Of course, I'm gonna have masks in the back. Uh, my managers and my owners will be in charge of providing that for the guests. Uh, there's gonna be sanitizer all over the clubs. I'm sure I'm, I'm not gonna be the only strip club that way. Uh, there's gonna be all the strip clubs, you're all gonna do that. I think that we're, like I said, safety is paramount. We will take all precaution to make sure that no one gets at least uh, sick while they're in there. So will new girls be able to audition? Because I know a lot of people are like, you know, struggling with money right now. So some girls are probably like, once this pandemic is over, I'm going to go try to be a stripper. <laughs> so are they going to let new girls audition during this time of like... I'm pretty, I, I think they are. They're going to let girls audition, but I won't be able to do 10 auditions at a time like I usually do. Oh, true. Okay, so I would probably do one at a time, six feet apart in a different, completely different stage that girl will do her uh, maybe three minute performance for us. And then as soon as she exits the stage, I got to get a, a bar back to come and clean out the stage. And then I know sometimes when girls come to audition, like when I auditioned, I didn't have the right dress and the right mm -hmm. shoes. And she let me borrow stuff. So will you be able to let the girls auditioning borrow stuff? Or is that like not going to be allowed? Um, For a little bit, might not be allowed uh, due to the fact that, you know, it's contagious. This yeah. virus is 
very, very contagious. So I don't think that I would be able to provide that right away. I might have some new dresses that you might be able to purchase at price, you know, while you're there to audition. But the best thing is to come prepared, at least with a short spandex stretch dress and a, and a thong. So, okay, say they only like allow 10 girls to work and then you guys are hiring new girls. How are you going to schedule them? Because I feel like the girls that are like OGs or whatever, they're going to be like, think that they get priority to work over a girl that just got hired. But then the See, girl we're hoping just, yeah. like, we're hoping that when this decides to open on, on our phase, that we allow all the girls to come in. Because I think by that time that we do decide to open, we're just about to full throttle open everything. Oh, that yeah, because it's right going to be. It's so, at, yeah. like, right there. So I think that that limited the time of when the girls can work and the scheduling and who's going to work and who's going to That's stay, only going to be for so long. That's going to be, you know, so limited because I feel like in the Yeah, because we're like the coming, last stage. Like strip yeah. clubs and like bars and shit is going to be like the last thing to open. Yeah. So by the time we open, it's pretty much going to be almost over. Yeah. Hoping. That's the plan. And I heard that they have uh, something coming out soon. So hopefully it'll be medication and all the good things where we don't have to worry about any of this and we can go back to our normal lives. Yeah. Okay, so strip clubs get a lot of like guests that travel, especially because we're kind of close to an airport. Yeah. So are we going to let guests and even if they just traveled from somewhere? or That would be something that would be up to the manager. But I'll tell you this, a lot of a lot of guests are going to be afraid to travel. They're not going to be ready, ready, ready to go full throttle or travel to go to a strip club until they know that they're not going to be contracted in any way. Yeah, I feel like guests are going to be scared to come. Like, are we going to even get guests? We will, and that's 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 what I mean by our new journey in the strip club. Have guests been like hitting you guys up? Like, are you guys gonna open soon? Yes. yes. Oh wow. We do they hit not me personally up, but you know they hit up. We have a a site, you know, we mm -hmm. have a Facebook, and all we can do is let them know. Not yet. You trust me. The whole world will know on TV when we open because <laughs> the whole world. Yes. Because once everything's open, everyone's gonna want to party and have a good time. True. Okay, so I feel like we kind of answered this. I said, will there be contact or will we still have to keep distance? Like, will we, will we be able to still do lap dances regularly? or At the beginning, when you're wearing a mask, I think that they're not going to allow the contact on contact. Remember, when you girls dance, there's a little bit of sweat sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, some guests, uh, you know, their hygiene, are, you know, patterns are not always up to par. So I don't think we're going to really allow that just yet until we know we go full throttle and business can resume as usual it might most likely it'll be a little step away it'll be air dancing but just to be able to have a conversation with a beautiful young lady you'll still be able to talk to her you'll still be able to get dances communicate will you be able to see her beautiful face under the mask maybe not but you'll definitely see her nice body <laughs> true um do you think girls will still be able to make money at the beginning, it's going to be a stretch because, listen, we've gone so many years of the hype and the keep up, the hype and the keep up of being a stripper, making all this money, making it rain, money here, money there, money everywhere. Now, we're just going to have to pretend that we're starting fresh, that strip clubs never existed and everyone's afraid of the cooties. That's kind of <laughs> like what it's going to come to. True, that is so. true. So once you get that going, we'll be okay. Okay, obviously no one knows this, but when do you think things will like kind of go back to normal for the strip club? No one knows this, but I think personally back back to normal where we'll have 500 guests to the door. New year, beginning new year. Okay. And so that means hang on a little bit more for all the all of the ladies that are strippers <laughs> out there. Yeah. Hang on sense. a little bit more. Just be um, grateful for the money that you are making when you are there. And so it starts building itself up again. Remember, it's going to be from from scratch. The pandemic has caused everyone to be scared. So it's never happened before. So it's like starting, you know, baby steps all over again so that we can rebuild all the successful strip clubs that exist out there. It takes a while, but patience is definitely needed. Yeah, that's true. So what are some of your concerns that you have, if any, like with this new... Way of doing things. Um, some of my concerns are going to be and will be when the guest does have a few drinks, does he forget that he owns a, a, a mask? Because if oh, they, you know, remember. Or if you do it, will we still be able to do rooms? 
that's another thing. But the rooms, the best part about the rooms is that there's so much distance in the champagne room. Like, will they expect you to take your mask off or be able to... That's not going to... If, if they don't allow us, we're not going to do it. Yeah, but how is a guy going to want to do a room if they can't, like... Because it's, it's it's what you bring to the table with your dance yeah. moves. So I think you'll work. Yeah, you probably do rooms, but you'll dance more instead of talking more. Okay. You'll be doing more dancing. Because you know sometimes when you sell a champagne room, yeah, you know the, the guest just wants to sit there. The customer wants to sit there and just, and talk, just talk and talk. chat. That is true. And not really dance so. or anything. This time around, I think that with the mask on, if you know you can't take it off and you're afraid of contracting something that you don't know if he has it or he doesn't know you have it, you will probably dance. A little bit more and your job might be a little bit harder because you have to dance more oh it would be a little easier because you don't have to keep your distance. right and keep your distance <laughs> you know you keep your distance yeah. a little bit so there's like pros and cons I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah yeah okay so the last question i have is do you have any advice for dancers right now who are struggling like to make money like anything they can do or well the only advice that i have is to hang on because the strip clubs are about to be okay. open sooner than later um, if you can find a part-time job or something on the side for right now, if you have a family, you have kids, you might want to get a part-time job. But for a lot of the, the workers out there that, that did claim taxes and did their 1099, they just approved May 11th, they're going to get $600 for those gig workers. So I really hope that some entertainers, some dancers were smart enough to claim taxes, at least a 1099 is self-employed so they can qualify for these six hundred dollars um, weekly until everything opens back up. The only advice also I can give is um, there's a lot of well you've seen a lot of OnlyFans. And oh stuff. yeah, I That's feel like a lot wonder. of girls are doing OnlyFans. Yeah, a lot of girls are doing OnlyFans. I wonder. I don't. No judgment. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that works. I don't but. know how. I've never really looked into OnlyFans. A lot of people have been asking me about it. I don't know how much it, money people are making off of it. I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's a subscription or what it is, but a lot of the girls that I've spoken to are doing decently well. And then, of course, I got my other girls who do webcam. That's just yeah. their thing. They did it before they started industry and their industry, and that's what they do. So there's, you know, some entertainers that are doing that. And then I got the other girls who are actually working at a, you know, a restaurant, not a restaurant, a McDonald's or at a grocery or store Uber Eats or, or Uber Eats or yeah, Uber yeah. Eats, a Walmart. They just got little small, you know, things just to yeah, just to kind of hold up because they know the, the clubs are going to open. Just we just got to get through this hurdle, this pandemic situation, flatten down or however it is that they say. And once we get the, the green light, I promise yeah, I uh, we will be telling everyone. Yeah, that's pretty much it for all the questions. I feel like those are really good. And I was honestly really curious about this stuff too because like no one really knows right now. Everything's like every, all over the place. But yeah, you just guys. hang in there. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys liked this video. Like I said, I'm going to leave the House Moms channel down below. We're going to be coming out with a lot of content for that soon. So definitely go subscribe to May and Denise's channel. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you.